so we are chucking in this today which is the long range tank from four wheel drive systems supplied by one of my instagram followers so big thanks there to outbush plummy chef if you haven't checked him out check him out on instagram i will put his description up on the uh on the video
so the tank is out. That's where we get the fun comes into it. Change everything over. So we, we should probably drain the uh, the oil drain that we're putting the fuel in. <laughs> hey look, it's like having a Commodore with a big oil left behind. <laughs> so with these uh, new tanks, just have to chuck a little bit of fuel in, not all of it. Why not? Because. And then we just swish it around and uh, drain it out and uh, just get rid of any metal that might be in there and, uh, and off we go. It's a spare oil tank actually, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I can do my oil changes on the fly. <laughs> I just, flip, I just flicked, it, flicked oil in the car, pump into my sump, no worries. You need to carry 150 litres of spare oil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, so now we've got to put all the sender and everything in there and then make sure it all reads correctly and then put it back in the car. And we should be good, so off we go, we'll do some out, I'll come back to you shortly. Alrighty, so pull the fuel pump out, which is pretty straightforward over there. Yeah, it's pulling the sender out now. I have to reuse the gasket on this one. And then there's a breather plate that goes on top, which is the other one forward of this. Considering this is coming out actually relatively easily, isn't it? Oh yeah. So, so what you have to do with this one, you have to measure your resistances uh, empty and at full, and just make sure when you put in a new tank that it's still registering that, and you just bend the arm to make sure it registers in the correct spots when it's empty. So a little bit of trial and error, but we'll get there. So, pretty straightforward. Seal it down with something anyway. There we go. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so this is your sender unit. Go the other way. Spin around. There we go, like that. Yeah. That one's out of there. That one comes out of there. Eventually. 
Let's try and do this one handed, it's good fun. All right, cool. So now we just got to work out our resistance is on this one. So when doing the pressure relief valve, you have to grind off these tabs on the corners here, those two, and just grind them flat. So it's just level, so it'll actually bolt down and locate into the hole, which is in here. But that's just sit like that, and then you'll just bolt that down on top. So pretty straightforward. Um, Dremel or a bench grinder or something will be great for doing that. All right, guys, so we're almost done, aren't we? Almost there. Eh? Almost done. Couple of hoses. Couple of hoses, a little bit fiddly. Oh, it's so pain of a spot. Pain of a spot. I would not recommend doing this at home on the ground. It's not an enthusiast fit like they say in the instructions. So Enthusiast, more like idiot kit. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, so just getting in here now. So, right up in here. Right up in there, the big fiddly things. Put some new hose clamps on. Um, what do we have to do? So, so we have to pretty much have to shorten the main filler hose 25 mil and the breather hose 50 mil. Then you got to try and get the brackets in. We had to take the tow bar off in the end to get this to go in because it wouldn't go in. Um, so you got the mounting bolt up there, and then in the back here you got the bracket with the nuts and bolts on that one. And then up above that, which I can't show you, I don't have a torch on, here we go. And then you got the brackets up there. Um, it has the retaining bolts around and pain in the ass spot, so just because I put a couple more, try and put one more bolt back on, I think, for the aircon bracket. <coughs> um, that's pretty much it. So it's, it's in. Um, you've got to make sure you put your rubber insulators between these brackets here and the chassis. To allow for flex, we had to muck around with the exhaust because it was touching up here. So we have have clearance now. It's not much, but the clearance. And yeah, we just put put the tow bar on, and uh, and we'll be done. So 